Hey guys, welcome back to Construction Simulator 2 PC Pocket Edition with me, Brad M73. As I continue on my um, Let's Play here, uh, let's kind of see what we have to do next. No special jobs. Do we have any cool tutorials? Um, you can actually go through all the tutorials and it'll um, show you how to use each piece of equipment. So if there's something that you're not familiar with, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but yeah, if there's something that you're not familiar with, by all means, check that out. Check it out. Let's see here. Minor gardening work. Or a two-story house. I almost kind of want to go for the, the two-story residential house. Uh, let's see. Minor gardening work. Ooh, that's a cement mixer. This requires a cement mixer, too. We might actually have to buy a cement mixer. Let's go ahead and do this one since we get a lot of money. Concrete mixer, pour concrete. Yes. Bring a suitable excavator to the pr property. To the site. Okay, where are we going here? I think we have to go up north. Yeah, to the left here. All right. <clears throat> so, um, my uh, videos came out earlier today. A lot of people uh, having both positive and some negative comments about Construction Simulator 2 PC Pocket Edition. Um, a lot of people are talking about how it's like a graphical downgrade from Construction Sim 2015. I just want to reiterate though that this is not considered to be like a direct sequel to Construction Simulator 2015, but a sequel to the mobile edition that they've just you know, convert it up to PC. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> I just ate dinner. Um, and now I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, yeah, that, that um, this is a... They, they basically wanted to do the port because it's been so long since we've had construction sim on PC. Um, so, and there was no way... I mean, I, I, I think I probably could have gotten, like, codes for... Um, for the 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 tablet ver well the mobile version I guess, but I was just like uh uh, I just it just sounds like way too much of a pain in the rear, so I didn't. All right, let's start digging this out. Oh, if I can zoom in a bit, there we go, much better. But um, I I mean I gotta admit like, I'm I mean I'm not being paid to say this other than getting the key for free. But, you know, for a 5 or $10 game, there's quite a lot of content here. And it, I think it actually works very well, too. Like, the digger buckets work much better than I remember them. It's not always perfect, but it's still a huge, huge difference. go so we'll do this for a little while and let's see let's scoop this I need a bigger bucket <laughs> But I don't think I'm level... My level's not high enough yet. Hopefully we can get up to level 4 in this episode. In the next episode, maybe we can get to level 5 or close. And then... We'll be able to do... We'll be able to, like, get to the next area. Reset... Driving mode, we're just going to pull forward a little bit.
And the music hasn't annoyed me yet either, which is good. And supposedly, I'm not going to get any copyright claims on the music, so... Music in! I always like having music in the games um, when, it, when at all possible. Sometimes it's not, depending on the game. But I, I do always like to have it... Ah, uh, no. Come on. There we go. Basically, like, I've kind of found that you kind of just get the, the tip of the scoop down, you know, below the surface. And then you just kind of scoop it in, but it doesn't always work that as intended. Now, another cool thing is later on, you know, when we get dump trucks and all that kind of stuff, especially when we get larger diggers, is um, you can actually... And I might have mentioned this in the la in one of the last episodes. You can actually um, save the dirt in your dump truck and go and sell it for a few grand, which is nice. I have found that d in general, though, like money management isn't like oh well, that was quick. Money management isn't hugely important. Though you can get yourself into trouble if you, you know, just go and buy like everything under the sun. Okay, so move this. Now what? After some time. Um. Oh, concrete. That's right. So now we're gonna have to buy a concrete mixer if I don't already own one. Let's see if I own... I don't think I bought one yet. Uh, we just have these three vehicles. Well, we've got more than enough money, so we're going to go to the map here. We're going to click on the vehicle dealer, and we're just going to say enter there. We'll go, and I'm going to buy this Kenworth. I'm not going to buy the cat, even though the cat looks cooler. Um, the cat only holds nine square meters. The Kenworth holds 12, and they're the same price. 133,700 each. And then we can go back to the map, and we can actually click on, oh, you can even see it kind of there. Yep, see it there on the map. Uh, we can get on it. Get on it, get on it. Now, right now in the game, we're still early enough where we actually have to go and manually fill the concrete. So we're gonna do that really quick. Later on in the game, as you level up your, your character, um, you can actually just buy it right off the, you know, right out of thin air. And um, that makes life a lot easier. But we're not to that point yet. So we'll drive out here to the uh, gravel pit or whatever it's called. It's like we're going into night here. Empty asphalt and concrete. Desert Springs gravel pit. And fill her up. I just want to check my profile here. 
So yeah, we'll get when we hit level four, we're gonna do money again. And then I'm probably gonna go to transport skills because um, yeah, traders automatically load your vehicle when you purchase materials. Um, you can order cargoes to go directly to your construction site, which is huge. And 50% for automatic delivery of vehicle purchases, all are huge. Um, you know, you can do business skills. Uh, you get 20% discount when buying construction materials, 25% more money when you sell in bulk, 10% um, less for renting vehicles, 10% less on purchasing new vehicles. That's not really as much of an issue. Um, earth moving skills, you can get up to an additional 20% more soil. I don't know if this is just soil or if it's other things. And then of course, wear and tear. Um, but you know, I'd say like business skills and wear and tears are kind of like more minor things to worry about. Let's go. $14,000 for all that concrete. But we've got a shiny new concrete truck. At our disposal. Ah, this guy's cutting us off. And remember, when we come into town here, I want to be doing, you know, 30 miles per hour or less. Otherwise, we're going to get a ticket. As we pass the speed camera there. Cut through Denny, I mean Sammy's. It's totally Denny's. And there's our flatbed right there. Okay, so we should be right up here on the right. Yep, there we are. There we are. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the chute extension out, and just activate cement uh, pouring. And we'll just fill up these different areas. Um, over here, maybe? There we go. It's a little bit hard to see at this angle. And you can just let it pour because it actually will not empty. And then as soon as you go, you know, too far out, it'll definitely stop. But yeah, it's not going to empty your um, concrete mixer. Move around back here again. And we're just going to slowly back up. change the camera to static orbit camera static orbit camera is a lot more sensitive but it doesn't move around as much ah or it doesn't move around at all it kind of holds its position
Okay. Now let's go around and we'll do the other side. Yeah, it's r uh, very sensitive to control. And bam! I think that's all we have to do. I don't think there is any more. So now we have to get pallet an MDF. Uh-oh. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be another one of those missions where, or jobs, oh, why I say missions. It's not really a mission. Um... Oh, sorry, I was like looking at my other computer for a second. Let's go to motor pool. Let's jump in this bad boy. And I guess we're gonna have to go around town. Oh, stay green. Phew. We'll make a right here. There's my dump truck. Boy, I just have stuff all over town, don't I? So here in a moment when we get to the materials uh, factory or dispensary store, whatever you want to call it, material store, I guess, um, we're going to look up and we're going to try to get everything in one load again. I think we might have done this, was it the last episode or the one before that? Boom, building supplies. And in we go. All right. Okay. So if we go up here and we look at jobs, and we go to the details, we can expand all these. So we need one pallet of MDF and fiber board or lumber boards. Um, one pallet of insulation, so that's one of each. Now we've got one lumber and one M one more MDF, so that's two lumber, two MDF. Uh, three lumber, three MDF, and one more insulation, so that's two insulation, and. One more lumber and pallet of uh, MDF. So that's four, M four lumber, four MDF, and two insulation. Okay. Hopefully I will get it right. We'll go all the way to the end. I'm just gonna buy all four of these. Now we need MDF. And two insulation. Uh, what in the world? What did the 
We're gonna have to go to a different vehicle. What the heck is going on here? Um, I guess we got vaporized by a nuclear bomb. I mean, I can't wait a second. I literally cannot move around your function mode. What in the world is happening here? Okay, obviously there's a problem. Let's, uh, really quick, let's save the game. I'm gonna go back. That's, that's weird. That's the first time I've had that problem. Usually though, if I run into any issues, um, like I had some vehicles disappear and coming back into the game. Uh oh, well this is not good at all. You've gotta be joking me. Well, let me restart the game and we'll see if uh, I can get it fixed. And here we go, what's gonna happen? Yay! Okay, I did. I had to do like a full restart. That was weird. I have not encountered that problem before. Hopefully, I will not encounter it again. <clears throat> but I technically I am playing a pre-release copy. So, yeah. <laughs> Though it, it, you know, it does seem pretty polished. I did run on, run into one other bug in my testing profile, and that was basically where um, some of my vehicles disappeared and I couldn't retrieve them. So I just exited the game, came back into it, and all was right with the world. So let's get all this stuff loaded. Back, come on. I like how the, um, you know, how things just lock right onto the, the flatbed. Unlike in Construction Sim 2015, where, you know, it was like, you know, you had to perfectly, you basically had to become a master of the forklift. Um, so the forklift isn't really, wait, oh, I don't want to put it up there. I want to put it right yeah. there. Yeah. You, ba you basically had to become master of the forklift in order to get the, um, <gasps> no, oh wait. Oh, that's why. Okay, we gotta point it up and then aim this one down. There we go. There we are. You can always get a little bit more length out of it if you try hard. Okay, so now with the MDF. Now we gotta <laughs> pull this side up again. Okay. Right there. Bam. One more, well, three more. One more MDF. 
which is what medium medium density fiberboard is that what it stands for mdf multi-dimensional fiberboard <laughs> that's what doc dr who uses in the tardis These two guys right up front, we'll be ready to roll. Okay. Bam, all right. So secure the load. And back into transport mode. Okay. So this road straight ahead should just lead right to where we need to be. shall get another house built. How about that? Oh yeah, this one will be, this one will go pretty quick, I think. Not what I wanted to do, neither is that. Static orbit camera, yes, that is what I want. <laughs> okay, so right. Probably out a little bit more. Okay. And I think everything else is just building the house and dropping off, you know, more supplies here. See, otherwise you got to go back and forth, back and forth. You waste a lot of time. But like I said, if you can get all of this in one load, it will save you tons of time. Now, later on, when you, you know, like I said, when you build up your character, you can actually just buy the supplies, have them uh, delivered directly to the site, which really speeds things up. And obviously that speeds up uh, making money as well. So we'll just move this out here. And yep, there we go. Ah, camera turned on again. <clears throat> really my only gripe with this game is like the the camera and you know when you're playing on a on a on my well on an xbox controller i don't know how it is on a ps playstation controller but on the xbox controller it's very easy to thumb down on the on the right stick and switch in and out of um the camera modes so that's really my only gripe. It's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, something that is slightly annoying. <laughs> okay, this one I think goes on the front. Yep. Pallet of insulation. Well, I got that right here. I got your insulation right here, all right? 
Why am I being so mean? Okay, yep. Boom. Alright, so next up, more MDF. And more boards. Whoops. Gosh, this is only like the second build stage too. Come on, get out there. Yeah. And we just want to move the crane outside of that little blue zone there. We are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so here's our monthly accounting. Um, month we made a loss. Oh no! No, that's okay. Our next month will be profitable because we got this big job right now. Oh, the reason why we weren't profitable is because we bought the we bought the cement mixer. If we wouldn't have bought that, we would have been profitable. So don't let that freak you out. I know, like some people might kind of freak out, but yeah, don't let that freak you out. Level four. All right, so the first thing we want to do, what did I tell you guys at the beginning of the game? You want to maximize money and XP because that will allow you to um, get more money and get more experience points much more quickly. So, yeah. All right, so we got some uh, insulation we got to put up here. Gosh, we might even get to level five. I don't think so, but you never know. Come And boards. Okay, again, out. I think this is kind of, yeah, I think we did kind of the same kind of a house. Was it, yeah, I think it was the last episode. Just in a different location, might look a little bit different, I don't know. We can get a slightly different camera view, there we go. No, it's like magnetized. <laughs> Bam. Now, 
And I think next we just have to put the roof on, probably. And we shall be done. Yep. I think we're already back up to 120,000. And we got the MDF, last bit of MDF. And boards. And then I think we just have to put the roof on and we'll be done. I don't think we're going to hit level 5 though. Unless I have enough time to, you know, do like another episode, I or not another episode, but another job. I don't think we're going to have enough time though. Unless it's a really quick one. No. There we go. Oh no, we need to be extending the boom. I was like, that's ex is it as extended as it's going to be. Um, this would actually be kind of a job that would be good to have, like, one of the tower cranes on. We can actually buy one um, that would be sufficient for this. They actually have several that you can buy. They've got kind of like a, like a really small one and then, like, a medium one and a large one. And maybe even, like, I think there – I don't know if there's three or four. I think there's, like, three, though. Yes, yes, I know. And this should be our last piece. Boom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to reset this. I think all I have to do is exit. All right, there we go. We got a 20% bonus. So an additional 19,000. So we're up to 58,000. Oh, no, we're up to 77,000. Nice. All right, so let's see what... And there's our house right there that we just got done building. Uh, almost a level five. Oh my gosh, that's so close. Um, excavate a small hole. Ooh, this one, let's see. Bring delivery to oil field. Or ex no, let's, let's, ex let's try this one. So I, ugh, I don't know. I might have made it. I might have made a grave error. All right, let's go to our motor pool. Go and get on. No. I want to go down here and skip the drive, and eh, it cost us five hundred bucks. Oh. Ah! Okay, that's kind of a bug too. When you, when it goes into that 3D mode, there, um, whatever speed your vehicle is going in, it just continues, and regardless of what happens. Okay. This shouldn't take too long. I 
kind of want to count the the scoops. How many scoops to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? Three. That's probably like going way back too far for most of you guys. And you don't want to dump your dirt off too close to the hole because it'll, like sometimes it'll actually kind of fill it back in and that's what you do not want. Yeah, when you get like a larger excavator, um, you know, you'd want to use your your dump truck to put this dirt in because you can go and sell the dirt and get a little bit of extra money. Yeah. I've already, already lost count. How many am I up to now? <laughs> five or six more scoops and we'll probably be done. I will say in this game using the digger is much more fun than it was in in construction sim 2015 it just works a lot better that was scoop four this one's five this is gonna be six probably seven is gonna be the last one Bam. Task complete. Clear the area. So that was close. That was one off. Is this going to be the whole job? After some time. Yeah, that was the whole job. Level five. Awesome. And almost if you all that just to put like a little pool in. Now, one thing, let's see here, what are we gonna do? We want to do two things before new vehicles are available to vehicle dealer. We'll look at that. Um transport skills. You can contract the helper to transport soil off the site or to fill up vehicles. This can be used for um Basically anything. It's not just soil. It's gravel. It's, I think it's pavement or asphalt. I'm sorry. And, but also concrete. So that's huge. Traders automatically. Yeah, this is what we want. Um, we don't want business. We don't want this. We want transport skills. Confir confirm. There we go. Boom. All right. And then, yeah, let's go to the vehicle store. So we'll hit the map. I'm just going to hit enter. Apparently that's new. No, these, are, these were in there before. Aha, so here's like the, uh, the low loader 
the fast erecting crane, the vibrating roller. We're going to need the, we're actually going to need, I think these three for the next job and we'll probably end up renting them because they're redonkulously expensive. Um, then we can also see some of the bigger diggers. The next one I'll probably buy is this, uh, the Liebherr R936. Got some front loaders there, or some wheel loaders, I guess. Some big old cat, and what is this one, a bell? Yep. Uh, gigantic dump trucks, essentially. Some much larger, larger diggers. We've got the mobile crane, or the small mobile crane. We've got the, um, we got a couple concrete fuel pumps here. A Liebherr and a Mac. Uh, bulldozers, a motor grader. I, I haven't tried the motor grader yet, but I've tried bulldozers. Um, they're kind of hard to use, but uh, so we've got some additional semi trailers. This would be essentially like a dump truck. Another large crane, another the large mobile crane, and then the big whopping tower crane. So how many tower cranes do we have? One, two, is it three then? Yeah, three, okay. Last but not least though, is the special job, which is re, uh, road refurbishment on Sunny Hills Bridge. That's gonna pay us $200,000. And it's essentially, well, it's not essentially, it is right up here. And by doing this job, we will unlock the next area, which is called Sunny Hills, uh, which we can get to now that we're at level five. And that'll open up more jobs. Uh, the next area after that is Westgate. And then after that, it is Northridge. I think this is kind of like the downtown area. This is kind of more, um, the suburb, well, kind of like in between the suburbs and downtown. This is like the suburbs. And this is like the little podunk town out in the middle of the desert. So, um, yeah, I actually am shocked that we hit level five. Just barely. Look at just how little bit of uh, experience we have over level five. Um, so that is actually going to wrap things up for this episode. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, once again, watching some Construction Simulator 2 PC, or it's the PC Pocket Edition, I guess. But um, yeah, I really appreciate it. As always, please don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. It also helps me out tremendously. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comment section. While, you know, whether I'd like to actually like to know if you guys think it's better than you thought it would be so far if it's worse than you thought it would be or if you're kind of still undecided and you just have to watch some more but let me know and uh, last but not least if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified for, well actually you gotta turn the notifications on if they don't automatically come on uh, so you get notified whenever i put my videos live again guys construction simulator 2 pc pocket edition thanks again for watching guys i'm brad m73 and i'll see you next time bye for now